The YouTube family, Jay Prince, has a message to tell all of us. It looks like the feds are not happy that Jay Prince beat them. He's one of the rare only people who beat the feds and the alphabet boys already. Now they're following Jay Prince, and the controversy now is they're trying to frame him. They're trying to get him down. We know his his one of his son is already incarcerated right now. I hope they free that man. A situation is going on where the feds are now trying to destroy the entrepreneur. They're trying to bring him down to a lower level. They're fabricating evidence. Let me let Jay Prince share you guys, share with you guys, that is, what they're saying about him now. That one example of many of the criminal lies that's told on my name on a daily basis. Clearly, this is a drug deal taking place on text message with my name being used to seal a deal that I have no knowledge of or involvement in, in no capacity. These type of made-up scenarios and lies are the type of excuses the feds uses to constantly harass me and try to incriminate me by the use of another person's action. Because when they arrest them, they rely on you. Let me say something to you clowns, who in my opinion, lie on my name and who are trying to set me up. In my opinion, some of y'all are doing things out of ignorance and others like Daryl D. Town Lewis, Ronald Bookman and Sylvester Brown are in my opinion, snitching trying to get themselves ahead in life or out of trouble. There's a movement by some rogue FBI agents and federal prosecutors that have a hate J. Prince racism disease. So once again, just like the rogue DEA agents I wrote about in my book, The Art and Science of Respect, that recently got arrested in Louisiana, no one believed me in Texas or did anything about them until over a decade later. It took Congresswoman Maxine Waters and the late great Janet Reno to put a spotlight on the rogue DEA agents' actions. These fearless women were criticized by politicians because they recognized the injustice being done and intervened before anyone else was smart enough to even realize they were dealing with crooked agents. To this day, no one wants to accredit these women for their forward movement. But I do, because their involvement possibly saved my life. It took prosecutors in Louisiana to catch them, thanks to Prosecutor Tad Duray for doing a great job on convicting Chad Scott. He ruined a lot of people's lives in Texas, along with his partner in crime, Jack Schumacher, who killed so many people that he admittedly lost count when he was asked under oath how many had he killed. I know this sounds like a movie, but this shit is real because I have been getting harassed all of my life by racist, hateful cops and agents. I've had drugs planted on me on two different occasions by dirty cops and had to beat those cases in court. I've had crooked hitmen, DEA agents, I believe were assigned to me to take my freedom and my life. I've been extensively audited and harassed by the IRS on several occasions with no penalty. And now, it's the FBI falling in line with those dirty criminal tactics. So to all who have ears, hear this. I don't knock no man's hustle, but don't put my name in none of that law-breaking shit. I have enough problems on my own. If you look past the color of my skin, I'm what you call a law-abiding citizen. Yet, I pay millions in taxes for them to treat me like shit. Stay tuned. My goal is to teach and show the present and the future generations how the alphabets may change. DEA 
FBI, HPD, IRS, but their goals and tricks stay the same to ultimately destroy us. It's me today and you tomorrow to be continued. Alright man, this is 100% disturbing I mean, And I'm gonna tell you one thing Damn, man, this... shout out to Uncensored Hip Hop But Jay Prince is letting us know What's really going on there And you can tell this man needs help For the situation, at least for the message To be given out Cause when you see things like that Get enabled and activated You gotta say who are they really after Why are they after the regular common man and not going after the so-called monsters in the world that they talk about steadily and steadily. So I just want Jay Prince to know we're with you, brother. We see what's going on, man. We're going to spread this message. Shout out to you. It's actually believable. We've seen enough reports, even in their own paperwork, even in their own whistleblowers who released these information and let us know what was really going on. So Jay Prince, man, we watching, brother. I'm going to make sure I cover this news and cover it the right way and being a journalist. And rest in peace to Janet Reno and Maxine Waters. Salute to you. I didn't know she helped out bring down evildoers like that. You know what I mean, man? Y'all do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. And rock out with the most winningest team out here. I smoke hip hop live. And I also wanted to cover this and say it's not wild that he said all that. It's just more wild that in 2021... More people are not being awakened to that truth. More people are not looking at it and understanding that this is foul. This ain't the way you treat human beings. But folks are going to let it be what it is, man. Jay Prince, the author, the father, the innovator, the man who has changed the games for so much and so many. The man who has basically become the progenitor of rap record companies, the philosopher, the philanthropist. I mean, countless community, you know, get-togethers he has done already. I mean, they don't talk about any of that. If you ask anybody about Jay Prince, they're going to say he's feared. He's feared. But if Jay Prince was a white male, they would say he's respected. You don't hear them talk about Al Capone and all these guys that type of way. And yet Jay Prince hasn't lost to the feds, meaning that they didn't find any evidence to say he's such of these things. So why are people keep quoting what the feds say? I for sure don't let the feds trick me or make me think I'm, I'm falling forward with the fantasies they talk about, the charades. We have to know who the alphabet boys are, who they really are. Don't let the trick deceive you as well. Deception is everywhere, man. I want to give a shout out to that man, Jay Prince. We with you, man. I'm your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop. Y'all hit that like button, hit that notification bell. Come rock out with the most winningest team out here. I smoke hip-hop live. Rock out, family. Blessings.